Hello everyone, this is Roxas1359. Welcome to the finale of Let's Play Sly 2 Band of Thieves. Last time, we ended up shutting down the final engine on our Pedro's blimp. Kind of questioning how if we're still flying right now, but uh, I digress. And in this episode, we're going to be taking on Clockla herself as Carmelita's gunner. Finally putting an end to clockwork for good. Or I should say clock law. Ugh, it's such a dumb name. I'm not getting over it. So, let's do this. That's not flirty chit chat. And time to fight Clockla, who will shoot missiles at you, so watch out for that. You're doing it, Cooper! You know, we I can hear you very clearly despite the fact that we're inside a helicopter. Now unfortunately the music is not as epic as um, a strange reunion. That's the unfortunate part. And the also annoying part is just trying to hit Clockla. We're getting through. Barely. I barely hit Clockla. Cause she moves a lot. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, the chopper can sort of get fired at sometimes by a annoying blast. Nice shooting. Thank you. I try my best to hit Clockla, which is actually a lot harder. Can can Bent Bentley? Uh, you're an experienced tail gunner. Why aren't you inside here? Actually, I mean, you took down that dam. Uh oh. The rings. I knew they were be back. Pretty much just shoot the rings and you'll be able to go through. Shoot them again. Stay focused. Sorry. Yes. Yeesh. Clockla is a lot more difficult than clockwork was, to say the least. Seriously, how does the world not know too much about Clockwork? I mean, he's been alive for a thousand, e thousand we years. Like We're you are phoning this in. Nope. Shoot the ring. All right. All right. Clockla is half dead. Looks like she's gonna try and fire a beam again. Clockla! What? God damn it! Now I'm saying Clockla! Nope! Okay, so it looks like you stopped the big blast by just shooting Clockla sometimes. Nope! Sorry! Very hard to hit Clockla. Oh! Job failed. <sighs> you know what we need? We need a little bit of a strange kind of reunion. I think that's what we need. That will make this so much better. Yeah, we already have her attention. We're the only flying object here. Thank you. I do my best. Oh, yeah. Looks like Clockwork had some new changes to his model. Okay. Okay, needed to shoot 
clock club before that blast went off. Thank you, I do my best. Now we've got rings. We are going Superman 64 in this. Yes. Looking good. Okay, clock low is about half done. Sorry. Keep at it. We're winning. This boss fight's definitely a lot more difficult than the clockwork boss fight from Sly 1. Not gonna like that. Nope, no, 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 no. Shit. Stay focused. Take that, Neela. Are you just gonna talk about Neela this whole time? Now you're just repeating yourself. Oh, you should have been a cop. That was some terrific shooting. Fly, fly. We've got a serious problem here. Lockla's looking mighty upset, and I think she's going to take it out on us. I'm coming, guys. Hold on. First things first. Gotta get that music back because the music pretty good for this section. So our Pagio's blimp is in pieces, so we need to hurry up and get over to Murray and Bentley before things get too out of hand. Come on. Perfect. What's this car gonna stop? Just make it stop. I can't take it anymore. All right, come on. We can make this. Come on. Oh no! I didn't make it! I'm sorry, guys. Alright, so we gotta catch up to Clockla. So, that's easier said than done. So, we need to catch up and save the guys, because Clockla seems to be taking it out on them instead of me. I mean. My friends did help me get this far. Come on. Let's free the Murray! Free the Murray! Hurry, Sly! We're going down really fast! Yeah, I know. So is all these pieces that are conveniently flying into place. Come on. Made it. I'm coming, guys. You want a piece of me? Don't worry. There's plenty to go around. You might have a new body, Neela, but you're still the low down, backstabbing coward we've beaten time and time again. This won't be any different. Be brave while you can, Cooper. I might not have been with Alice born of pure hate, but I feel some, some power growing within me. 
And that power, I believe, is to being the real clockwork, who is coming back with Arpeggio putting the brain back in. So that's my theory for it anyway. So... What, do I hit the head again? Okay. Hit the head. Just like last time. And let's knock out Clockla. Shall we? Boom. We did it. Right on. It's an emotional moment. Die, Zex, die! I hate you. Smash you. Watch out. That thing's still kicking. Lockla mentioned something about a hate chip. It sounded like the source of her power. If we remove it, she might stop attacking. Then let's do a little open head surgery. I'll pry open that beak so that family can go to town with his bombs. All right, so it's time for the Murray to pry open Clockla's mouth. So, mash that circle button. And what the heck? All right, and now it's Bentley's turn. Da 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 da. Bird dentist, and boom! Unlikely bandit. That is for the platinum of this game, ladies and gentlemen. So let's grab that hate chip. Bomb. Bomb. And there's the hate chip, so let's grab it. Let's get out of here. She's about to explode. Ah! My glasses. What? Bentley, I'll save you. <laughs> And there we were, at the end of the road. The claw gang had been defeated, and the clockwork parts lay scattered around in heaps. Yet, despite the explosion, they remained pristine. It was as if nothing could ever hurt them. Carmelita cursed herself for showing up too late to get a few shots in on Clockla. So she took it out on what was close at hand. The hate chip. And just like that, it was over. Without that core piece, that essential center of clockwork, there was nothing left. The parts aged before our eyes as if time had finally caught up with the ancient bird. How ironic that Carmelita, a police officer, would be the one to lift the curse from the Cooper family. The menace of clockwork would never again rise to threaten me or my children. True to her nature, she informed us that we were all under arrest. But one look at my gang told me that we were in no shape for a fast getaway. So I offered to go peacefully in exchange for letting my friends walk. 
They'd taken some bruises through all of this, but I was surprised, shocked really, to see them leave their gear behind as they walked away. Their wounds were deeper than I'd imagined. Those guys were hurting. Carmelita's old police unit soon arrived. With me in custody, her name was cleared, and she even got a well-deserved promotion. It was the least I could do. The ride to HQ started with us sitting in silence, trying to read each other's thoughts. As the reality of my capture started to sink in, she began to relax, and we got to talking. We spoke freely about our previous adventures, comparing notes and even getting in a few laughs. Then we started talking about well, everything. Books, music, art. It was like we were on a first date. She even showed me the bottle she'd been saving for the special occasion of my arrest. My heart sank when she realized that our short flight across town had already taken two hours, a fact I kind of clued into after seeing the Eiffel Tower float by 17 times. She went forward to ask the pilot what was up, and it looked like my pals had left me a little going away present before taking off. Floating away on the night breeze, I could faintly make out Carmelita's voice. I'll find you, Cooper! I'll be seeing you soon. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen, Sly 2, Band of Thieves, created and developed by Sucker Punch Productions. My thoughts on Sly 2, Band of Thieves. I can see why this is seen as the best of the Sly Cooper series. Personally, I still prefer Sly Cooper 1 as my favorite one, if only because I liked Clockwork a lot, and Clockla was just sort of a side villain. But everything this game does is true and an improvement on Sly 1. Especially with how everything just came out with one another. Which, I mean, the open world was very nice to explore. The ever so lovely treasure hunting was fun. I loved being able to pickpocket. I loved being able to do all the missions with Sly, Bentley, and Murray. And overall, I had fun doing this game. This was a fun game to do, and I'm glad I did. But now, for the credits, we get to see a where are they now sort of thing for everyone. Except for, well, obviously, Clockla and Arpeggio, who are both deceased along with Clockwork for good. But, anyway guys, I think I'm gonna end it off right here. This has been Roxas1359, and I thank you all for watching my Let's Play of Sly 2, Band of Thieves. Stay tuned in the future for when I eventually do Sly 3, Honor Among Thieves, and for more projects coming up in the future. See you guys next time.